Woe is me, consumed by fire, I fall, dragging my shadow to where I don't now even recognize myself. Pedro Calderón de la Barca, El Gran Teatro del Mundo. Welcome back. Chapter 14 opens with the familiar north-south conflict of Spanish history. Casildea de Vandalia, that is Casilda of Andalucía, has given the Knight of the Woods a series of Herculean tasks. He had to stop the Giralda, a famous weather vane of Seville. Echoing Caesar's Weni Weedy Wiki, he says, I came, I saw her, I conquered her. He had to weigh the Toros de Guisando, a group of bull-shaped monoliths near Avila. He had to explore the depths of the chasm of Cabra near Córdoba, which many regarded as an entrance to hell. Note that all sorts of chasms have become a major theme of part two. The Night of the Woods recalls Plato's cave allegory. I threw myself into the chasm and brought to light what was hidden in its abyss. Finally, he claims to have defeated all the knights of Spain. He is particularly proud of having defeated Don Quixote, quoting verses from Ercilla's La Auracana. And the victor is all the more honored to the degree his victim is revered. At Don Quixote's request, the Knight of the Woods describes Don Quixote perfectly. Furthermore, if all these signs are not enough to give credit to the truth, here is my sword, which will force incredulity itself to give me my due. This jargon echoes challenges in the books of chivalry, but it's also the second major emphasis in part two on the economic term credit. Remarkably, Don Quixote shows restraint. He says he knows Don Quixote. I regard him as I do my own person and makes another reference to St. Thomas. As I have seen with these eyes and touched with these hands, it is impossible that he is the same man. Then he offers the explanation that some wizard must have tricked the Knight of the Woods into thinking that he fought Don Quixote. It might also be that since he has many enemy enchanters, one in particular who pursues him constantly, one of them might have taken on his appearance and allowed himself to be defeated so as to cheat him of the fame his chivalric deeds have earned him. Did you know Hercules is the mythological figure most associated with Spain? His two pillars, the Rock of Gibraltar and Jabal Musa in Morocco, are represented on the coat of arms of Charles V, as well as on many Spanish coins from the early modern period to the present day. Nevertheless, Don Quixote's final burst is aggressive. And if all this is not sufficient to convince you of the truth that I speak, here is the one and only Don Quixote who will sustain it with his arms on foot or on horseback or in any way you may please. Here is our Don Quixote from part one, standing up and making a violent gesture. And so saying, he jumped to his feet and grasped his sword, waiting to see how the Knight of the Wood would react. What is the name of the beloved of the Knight of the Woods? A, Helen of Troy, B, Casildea of Vandalia, or C, Princess Leia Organa? Correct answer, B, Casildea of Vandalia. The knights agree to duel at dawn, which the narrator anticipates with chivalric hyperbole. At sunrise, they would have to undertake the most bloody, singular, and unequaled combat. They also agree that the loser will have to submit to the will of the victor. Notice the contrast between this violent turn and the sleeping squires, as well as the tranquility of all their mounts. By this time, all three horses and the gray had smelled one another and were standing together. That's all for now. We invite you to watch our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the Knight Errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.